Hello, hello, and welcome to another Uh Oh video experience. Um, this summer, this last summer of 2023, uh, I was able to visit my hometown of uh, Progreso, Yucatan. I just wanted to take you guys along to this trip. It's been a huge while since I've been there, and um, I don't know, just grab your hand and show you around my my this town that I that I love so much. Okay, I love this country. Ah, magnificent. Just, just human. Every, everyone, everyone wants to help each other. Everyone was like super cool. I, I felt like a bit of a culture shock going there, as someone who's like been like I, I've been around, not around the world, but I've been, I've been to places. You know, I've been, to, I've been to places. Okay, I've been outside the U.S. quite a bit, and uh, returning to Mexico just, just felt so good it, it was it was awesome it was nice um one of the very first uh, places that i want to show you is el malecon this is the beach that i grew up in this this magnificent beautiful beach is uh is a port town beach as you can clearly tell uh home of uh, it, the, the the world's longest bridge according to the guinness world record i i don't know what's the whole purpose of the bridge i think it's just for imports and tourists but hey there's your longest bridge, okay? Uh, also, something that you'll notice is that we love dinosaurs. Um, when I was living here, there was there was not a single trace of dinos, okay? But somehow between 2018 and now, uh, these dinos just just came back because Yucatan is right by this crater. You know, we have to remember dinosaurs were here, damn it. Remember the dinos, okay? Thanks to the Jurassic World series, you'll see blue velociraptors and shit like that. Also, you can't talk about El Malecón without mentioning La Casa de Pastel, which translates to the house of cake, or the cake house, or how... Either way, this was a historical piece back in the day, but now it's a five-star restaurant. And let me tell you, the food was shit. My fucking octopus right here, which you'll see, as you can clearly tell, is burnt. Um, but enough about it, Malecon. Now we're gonna go to another place called Chelem. This is... How can I say this? This is more like what I remember. Calmer beaches, the waves, clear waters. Oh, just the beautiful sound of waves in the morning, you know, shit like that. Um, I was very fortunate to come in a period of time where we had La Feria happening. I was able to get um, mi machacados, which is basically grinded up ice with your favorite flavors. And let me tell you, we, we like our spiciest. God damn it, chamoy and all that other shit. You know we had it. It was delicious. Um, flavors that I just forgot that I love. We also had uh, one of my favorite treats ever, a marquesita which is basically, uh, it's batter, very thin batter. They, they just, pssst, you can see the process right here. They put some cheese on it, mm. And then some melted caramel if you choose to. I, I didn't have the melted caramel. As you can see here, I'm enjoying it. And I'm sweating bullets. I, I'm not used to the weather here, as you can tell. Um, one of the key things that I love about the Feria is all the music, the noise, all the colors, the flashing lights. La Feria is basically the local fair. You have like the best of foods, food, oh, just, you got your gorditas, you got like all this awesome food. You have uh, these little place, these little stations in which you like, you throw marbles and you like and win prizes and stuff like that. And now to have good food, La Parrilla. If you're from America, and you probably know what a Sunny's is. A Sunny's is, 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 a, is, is a barbecue place that you can find just about anywhere and it sells mid barbecue, but it's everywhere. La Parrilla is almost the same thing, but it's good. Oh, they, they just don't fail. But this La Parrilla had, had a new invention. Al Pastor Pizza, which was like so delicious. The same cheeses and the El Pastor meat, but just on a pizza. The, the fla I can't I can't describe you something like real al pastor is something that you will never find here in the US like ever but enough about all this good food now now we gotta now we gotta swim all this food off all right so from there we went to uh, los cenotes de Santa Barbara los cenotes what 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 is this cenotes um well that's a it's it's said that it's a loose translation from this word 
It's a Mayan word that translates to abyss, el abismo. Uh, these were believed to be uh, just giant holes that have like life water, reju rejuvenating water. And let me tell you, the water was rejuvenating. It was also incredibly cold. <laughs> As a 30-year-old man, my joints were feeling fantastic afterwards. They had these little fishies that were like nibbling at my toes and all my dead skin. Which I'm like, oh wow, the fishies give a shit about my toesies. That's, I appreciate that. They were nibbling on my toes. And from which there, like, we, there, there were like three total holes. Um, all of them as treacherous as the next. We meet some cool iguanas. Um, here's a, like some of the scenery. It's, it's just all around beautiful. Um, I can't describe it really. I, if, if I were you and you were visiting Yucatan, please come in like, check the cenotes. It's, it's life changing. It's really cool. It really is. After the big swim, you can have the best like Yucateco food, like food from Yucatan ever. I'm talking about pokchuk, I'm talking, ay, 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 like just, oh. Like I'm not, I'm not gonna be able to have this again. I really, I, 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 I feel, damn. But now for the whole reason why I was in Mexico, right? The whole reason why I went there was to revisit the old, my, to revisit the old home that I grew up in, uh, which is right here. This is where I grew up with, as you can tell, it's, it's not much to look at. I'll be honest with you, nothing really has changed. Um, I mean, there used to be pictures on the walls, but... Besides that, that's that's pretty much it. Um, everything that you see here is made out of concrete. This is uh, the bed, my bedroom here. I grew up in it. Everything, as you can tell, everything is fenced. We weren't in the. This isn't the safest place. Really, nothing much. I I, I have a lot of personal memories here that I really don't want to go further deeper into details. But a lot of. Um, how can I say? I just spent important young years of my life there, and a lot has happened there. Um, my backyard here, it, I'm looking at it now, and it reminds me of a prison. Like, tell me that doesn't look like a prison. Like, look, 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 at, the, look at the top of the fences. These are, um, that's glass, broken glass on, on cement to keep like people critters or whatever out obviously it didn't keep critters out the cats just walked over it but this was my home this was the last time i will ever see that place and another thing that i don't remember too much is seeing a lot of these uh american owned places like people from texas own these places and whatnot and the food and prices really shit restaurants uh, with like bringing a texas flavor is like bro you bring in texas to mexico is that yeah, okay i really don't want to talk too much about these american-owned businesses that they're moving into here because i don't think they're gonna last. These these businesses opened up like half a blocks away from like five cocinas económicas, which translated to economy kitchens. These are family owned houses that like serve you food for cheap. So much better, so much better than what these guys are bringing. And it's a little, it's a little clear. It's a very clear that the locals really just, they don't care for it. Uh, as you can see, they're pretty much empty. As someone who's returning to this place, I, 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 I want to say that I want to die here. That I want to die in, in, in my hometown. The, the people 
the low, like every everything just felt so much better there. It felt so good being back. The amazing people, the architecture, uh, this just it's it's I can't describe it. I really can't describe it. It's a completely different world that I miss. And I and I and I I wish I was back. I wish I could. I, I really do sometimes. But yeah, you reached the end of the video. Uh, thank you so much for, for uh, staying along with me in this long-winded presentation. Uh, I love you. I hope that you come out here thinking, damn, I should travel outside a little bit more. I should go out a little bit more. See, see other places. Go visit other things. Do other shit. Step outside, damn it. Step outside! Pero que tiene la gatita. La gatita.